So in the last week, we've defined position, velocity, and acceleration. We have here also our definitions of average acceleration and average velocity. So in our case of average, it's the change in position over the change in time, whereas instantaneous is a derivative of position with respect to time. And with acceleration, right, average acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. Instantaneous would be the right derivative velocity with respect to time. So now that we have these definitions, we had one way of getting the kinematic equations that maybe people didn't like because areas are a bit too close to integrals. So let's try a different approach. We're going to stick with our initial model that our acceleration is constant. And then from this, we can then get a result. The result of this is that if the acceleration is constant, it doesn't matter whether I look at the instantaneous or the average, that this a vector is going to be equal to a average is going to be equal to a instantaneous. Because it's not changing, it doesn't matter how I calculate it, it's going to be the same. So we can then use this, right? And again, if our acceleration is constant, then instead of writing a average, I can just write a. And then I can write it as delta v over delta t. And I can write my delta v as vf minus vi over delta t. So to get to a kinematic equation, we want to solve for v sub f. So we want to write then multiply both sides by delta t. And so I get a delta t equals vf minus vi, and then I bring vi over and then flip sides. And so I get here vf equals vi plus at, or a delta t. So this is again kinematic equation one. And again, this is only in the case where acceleration is constant. If it's not, then I have to use this derivative form, and then we don't get this specific answer.